Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far. And so, of course, I'm going to be taking you through the latest updates in regards to what is going on across the Caribbean and what is expected as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days. And so before I go into details... Please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on what is going on out there. And so let's go ahead and get started with all that is happening. And we're looking at this satellite imagery of the Caribbean and we can see here that there is quite some activity across some areas across parts of the southeastern Caribbean and also the northeastern Caribbean. And so we can definitely see all that activity in association with a trough that is inducing so much showers and thunderstorms across some areas as especially for Puerto Rico, uh, the Virgin Islands, and also over into parts of Hispaniola. So quite a bit of activity, and there were even uh, flash flood warnings being issued earlier this morning for some areas, for some parts of eastern Puerto Rico. Let's take a closer look at the region, and there we can see all that activity, all these colors indicating that convection. And where we see those white dots is where lightning strikes are occurring or have occurred. And so, uh, again, guys please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe of course the areas that are more susceptible to that inundation or that flooding include low-lying areas as well as uh areas that are poorly drained so please do not take any unnecessary risks in the event of the heavy rainfall that is currently ongoing However, as we take a look at the rest of the region, as we take a look at the Northwestern Caribbean, uh, there isn't much happening, so more than likely beautiful sunshine this Saturday morning across most of the areas, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, the Yucatan, Belize, uh, other parts of Central America as well. And for Little Cayman and Cayman Bragg, there are some passing clouds, uh, maybe for Grand Cayman as well, but nothing too much going on in the region. And things are also clearing up for the Leeward Islands. There isn't too much activity there. However, heading from Dominica southward to uh, Grenada and even including Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados, we can see that there is quite some activity, possibly even some showers taking place across those islands. So that is what is happening right now across the Caribbean, guys. And now we want to drift up to the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to be looking at what the various models are expecting in terms of that possible system as we're going to be heading into uh, next week. So let's go ahead and begin with the GFS. And if you're not familiar with this map, those black lines are called isobars which represent areas of equal pressure and we're looking for them in a circular manner with an L being seen at the center which indicates that it is a low pressure system. So as we head into the middle of next week there we can see that system developing off Louisiana and eventually making its way inland so the GFS has been consistent about this system developing and then moving on to the Euro model uh, it is not expecting that we're going to be seeing a very strong system so as we head to the middle of next week we have all that activity being seen and that low pressure area eventually developing but not something very strong however moving on to the icon model uh, we can see here that it is also in agreement that we're going to be seeing something as we head to the middle of next week. So most of these models are consistent about that low pressure area developing. We see that minimum pressure of 1,005 millibars. And once we have something developing in the Gulf, it is more than likely going to be making landfall somewhere along the Gulf Coast. So uh, if you're there, guys, this isn't something to be panicked about, but something to be aware of so you know what steps to take in order to keep yourself and your loved ones and even your pets. Pets. Don't forget the pets, guys. Keep them as safe as you possibly can in the event of any severe weather activity. So, so all these models are in agreement about that system developing. And uh, it's looking as though that is quite possible because even uh, for the National Hurricane Center, though they haven't given an official outlook on a system, nothing is marked on the graphical tropical weather outlook. However, in the discussion this morning, it is mentioned that low pressure may develop along the remnants of the front in the north central gulf tuesday and deepen through wednesday so that is where we could see our subtropical cyclone or tropical cyclone uh develop and i'm going to be keeping an eye on this for you guys of course i'm going to be giving updates as we head into the next several days and of course tomorrow is sunday which means it's going to be another hurricane season countdown video and i will be mainly focused on that system as well as giving you guys the latest in terms of a new prediction that is out for the 2020 
2023 Atlantic hurricane season. But that is it for now, guys. That is what is happening. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with the wise.